Welcome to Bird Burger, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some of the best images taken by the youngest wildlife photographers out there. Ooh, okay, so this is actually one by a guy who I'm posting on our podcast this upcoming Friday, Christopher Smith. Amazing image. I love how he's able to get just such an intimate moment. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Just getting that little piece of the shell with the seaweed there is just beautiful and gorgeous, and this little chick. I love the way that he captured this. It feels so intimate like you're in the world, and this is really, really impressive. All right, next one. Ooh, oh my gosh. Man, these wildlife photographers that are young sometimes just have the best creativity. Oh my goodness, man. Ooh, all right. I like how this one combines like this aspect of landscape photography almost with the subject, which is the horse itself. That's a really solid image. Ooh, I love those belted kingfishers, man. I would just die to see these belted kingfishers someday that they have in the UK and other places in Europe. They're just so gorgeous. I feel like, I mean, the ones we have here are pretty, but the ones they have there just glow. It's incredible. Nose massage. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Like, I love how you could just get the texture of the snow as he's kind of wiping his nose that is just oh that's gorgeous i love that oh my gosh i've seen this image before this is like one of the most solid images i've ever seen taken by a young wildlife photographer i love it oh it's so good feels like you're in the bog almost with him and it just ah oh, just looks incredible i love it Ooh, okay I like this, it's a very abstract type of image. You got these bunnies that are silhouetted by the light, but everything else is just fading around them. And I really like how they were able to get this image. Man, these young wildlife photographers sometimes are just so creative. I mean, I'm 25, so I'm decently young myself, but these 18 and under wildlife photographers are just like mind blowing sometimes what they can come up with. I think it's because their, their kind of vision is so raw and authentic that it's really cool to see. Oh my goodness. Okay, yep. This is actually like legit one of my favorite images I've seen of all time. I love this image. I love how you could see into the nesting cavity so clearly and you get the swallow full flight and just such a blue, beautiful background like that lake water matching the sky color with those trees kind of arching in the background. It's just, oh, amazing. All right, let's see this next image. Ooh, long-eared owl. That's a nice image. I like this one a lot because you get like this really cool kind of like fall looking background, like early fall when things are just barely starting to turn orange you still got a lot of green and the the subject is so clearly placed within that frame get a little bit of foreground leaves in front of it a great background leaf behind it really solid image Ooh, i really like when an image is able to execute just a solid singular color with just a little bit of tint of maybe one or two other colors in there this does that amazingly i love how it's just such a yellow image but it really does that super effectively that's really cool i like the mood of this image in the edit because it kind of matches it makes it feel very intense and almost like threatening like the <laughs> the heron's like approaching you and you know about to stalk you or creep up on you and that's really cool about this image i like the editing style and how it's matched with such an intimate moment with this bird very cool this is a beautiful image i love this image i love the bathing i love the colors and how bright this image is looks really sweet these ears though ooh, i like that image you know it's not like my normal style of what i would necessarily like but i like how they caught that light reflecting so vividly and like the colors you kind of get from the purples and the blues that's really cool okay this is the same photographer as earlier that took the other long-eared owl image i love it i love it i love that orange in the foreground man i love foreground images i'm a huge sucker for foreground and yeah i love this foreground because it makes it feel like just you're in like this almost like fiery lit up scenario and it looks great. Ooh, nice image. Really good image of the woodpeckers getting to kind of capture them in action. Really good moment. That's pretty solid right there. Ooh, okay. Kind of unique aspect to this image where you're kind of seeing like these pine needles almost as if they were the grass in this image. And I really like that kind of perspective. Ooh, wow, that is a beautiful hummingbird. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that hummingbird. That is so dope. I mean, first of all, I'm just fascinated by the bird, but great shot too. It's a great portrait shot. Love the shot. And uh, yeah, that was, that's a really cool bird. Okay, let's see this. Oh my gosh. Now that feels like fine art. Oh my goodness. I love this shot. I love when you can get an image like this where you see like the eye just so perfectly in focus on a beautiful creature like this, but then things just fade around it. Like the rest of its body just fades. The bill is even like faded out and you get the, obviously the lower half of the body is just totally faded out. And I love this image. Great foreground, great setting. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is, that's, that's a great image. That gets me excited. Hey, you guys, by the way, if you've been enjoying these reacts videos, 
Make sure to go check out my editor that uh, preps all these things for me. He's been doing a killer job with it this month, getting me some great content prep for you guys. And it would mean so much. He's also a young wildlife photographer. So I would really love you guys go check him out. Go follow him on Instagram in the description below. Thank you guys, appreciate you. Ooh, that is a good image. That's a really nice, like intense image. Feels very engaging, very solid. And I love how you kind of get like this cape almost look around him because of that shutter blur. Ooh, okay. I have never seen a bird like this. That's that's an awesome bird. Ooh, okay. I love this. This is like a mix between wildlife and macro almost. I love how you can see the feet kind of through, uh, you know, the shadow of the feet and the colors mix so well between that uh, yellow of the plant and then the green of the lizard. That is, that is solid. I love this image. This might be my favorite one of the day.